Adam Harvey, a 31-year-old artist in New York City, and he's very much concerned about the fact that drones could be used in the United States for surveillance. So what he wanted to do was create something known as stealth gear. And this gear is supposed to uh, protect from thermal imaging uh, on surveillance drones. Um, so, you know, if you look at the pictures of what he designed, it looks like metallic fabric, and this metallic fabric is supposed to prevent these drones from keeping an eye on you, which I find really fascinating. Yeah. Now, even though, um, now, okay, so I should, note, <laughs> should, I should note a few things. A, this is not a joke story. Um, well, I, I know it's not an onion story. It's yeah, not an it onion story. It might still story. be a joke story, but <laughs> yeah. we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> the reason why it looks like they're wearing uh, a burqa or a niqab is because uh, he wants to market this in the Middle East, where drones are being used for surveillance purposes the most. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's not inexpensive, okay? It's actually very, very expensive. Um, just to let you know what the garments are made of, uh, the garments are made from a lightweight or with a lightweight flexible uh, metalized fabric that uses fibers to reflect heat and conceal the wearer's thermal signature. They're also lined with silk, which contributes to their flowy effect when worn. If you're thinking about purchasing this, don't think about purchasing <laughs> it. Um, it's about $487 for a hoodie, $561 for a scarf, $2,278 for the burqa. So, so it's like so. standard Abercrombie and Fitch, <laughs> basically. So I love the, the idea that this guy is like seriously worried about being bombed by an American drone, but he's done way too many curls to not want to show off his guns. So he's gonna, <laughs> like the drone is gonna be like flying around and some general in Arizona is gonna be like, um, I see a, two pairs of uh, amazing arms walking around. Should we bomb them? <laughs> Well, and also the picture, there, there's another picture of him just wearing kind of like a little hoodie with a right. little cowl right here. And it's very cute, except they're pretty much naked from, you know, the midriff here. Right. And, and if you're not wearing a full body uh, fabric, then how can it prevent the heat-seeking uh, thermal imaging from seeing you? So it seems right. like they don't quite cover it all the way. Well, you, I mean, look, you want to stay safe and you want to make sure that Big Brother but you is want watching. But you, you, you want to be a fashionista. Yes, totally. of course. And you know, just to, just to point out this guy, this, uh, 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 what's his name? Adam Harvey. Mm -hmm. His other projects also address the notion of privacy. You know, his master's thesis at the Interactive Telecommunications Program at NYU offers camouflage from face detection. <laughs> I was going to say two things. Um, let her wear it. Kicking body. Um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> number two, you're trying to hide from drones. This will, this will keep you from being detected. But as you walk around with your bright metallic silver burqa on, no one's going to notice you. They can't all. see you. If there's, any, if there's any CIA agents on the ground, they'll just be looking for the one person from the Jetsons. And if they track him down, then I don't think they'll need the drone. I feel kind of bad. I feel like he's trying to do something good and we're being too harsh. No, I think he's trying to make $500 for a scarf. Well, That's what I think he's trying to do. Artistically, they're pretty, they're pretty nice designs. I, I do like them artistically. We'll give them that. But yeah. you know, but he's also been flooded with orders from military manufacturers, so that's kind of a scary thought. That is a yeah, scary thought. That makes thought. sense. Just yeah. a sheet of this over a tank makes a lot more sense than just you know, covering her head. Oh, Pshaw, you and your practicality. <laughs> it's fashion.